Hey doodlers, how you doing? I'm at a video game convention. There is loads of kids uh, playing on old video games. It's Spider-Man playing Spider-Man. So what we're going to do is we're going to design our own pixel character for a video game that we're going to invent, okay? Uh, it can be a human character, it can be an animal character. The video game world isn't actually very different to the world of being a children's author. I mean, you're writing stories, you're coming up with your own characters, your own designs. You're using those characters within a story. But anyway, let's get back to the drawing board. Let's get doodling. So we are back at the drawing board um, and you can see my face uh, now, which might either help with your drawing or might not, but it means that I can talk to you while I'm doing my drawing. Uh, on the screen, you can see I've got like graph paper. Um, my computer allows me to put this on the screen, which really helps drawing this kind of character, uh, like an 8-bit character. Um, so you can either get some graph paper um, or you can get a piece of paper and draw some straight lines on it. Um, I've got quite a few squares on there, but you can draw, I don't know, if you wanted to do fewer squares, you want to do more. Um, so what I've done is I've done a quick drawing of Hubbington. I'm stuck him over the top. So this is going to be the basis for my character. Um, then what I did after that was I got that sort of same, same drawing of Hubbington and kind of made it a bit kind of straighter. So tried to make it look a bit like a pixelated character. Then once I did that, once I had the plan, then I um, drew it over a really kind of neat plan of what I want to, him to look like over the top of the graph paper. I've drawn it in red so you can see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start colouring in. Um, there we go. I'm going to adjust you so you can see me a bit better. Uh, you can see the colours on the right hand side. Um, these are going to be the colours that I'm going to use. They're quite grey. There's sort of greys and blues. Um, that's because Hubbington is a white dog and we're using a sort of white piece of paper. So it's obviously drawing whites on whites is not going to show up. So I'm going to make the dog a bit grey. Um, so I'm starting to colour in some of the patches. And his little arm. making sure I'm trying not to go over the lines. It doesn't really matter if I do go over the lines. Um, it'll just make it, you know, make it look a bit wobbly in places, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about that. Draw his little nose. He's quite a good shape to be drawing uh, a pixelated character. He's quite square and boxy. So you can see I've coloured in the rest of the patches and now I'm going to start colouring his body. The dog has just started barking. I think he knows I'm drawing him. I don't know if you heard that. I think what happened was that somebody walked past our house. That tends to happen quite a lot when the dog is barking. I've coloured in the rest of his body and now I'm going to colour in his snout, which is going to be a sort of darker grey, a sort of bluey grey. I'm using a sort of, on this app, I'm using a kind of, uh, like a felt tip pen, which is probably what I would use if I was drawing on paper. Uh, you don't have to use a felt tip pen. You can use pencils. Uh, tip, though, if you are using um, felt tip pens or pencils, it's probably easier to start with the lighter colours and go darker. Just in case uh, you make a mistake, it's obviously easier to go over something in darker pencil or pen than it is in lighter pencil. So I'm, I'm making some of those patches, rather than just making them completely black, making his tail completely black, I'm using a sort of um, a slightly lighter grey, just to give it a sort of that real kind of um, pixelated feel. I'm not sure what video game Hubbington would be the star of. Some sort of video game in which, which meant that 
he could sniff lots of dogs' bottoms and get get points for that or something. Now I'm just going down one side of it in a slightly lighter grey. Again, it's to kind of give it that kind of 3D look. And that darker grey for his arm. It's not an arm, is it? It's a paw. Top of his ear. Again, so we're just breaking up that kind of solid black um, just to make it look a bit more realistic. I'm zooming out, which is always a really good idea with your drawings. Stand back from your drawings just to see how it's looking. It's not looking too bad. So um, as we did a kind of light line down his right hand side, I'm doing a slightly darker line down his left hand side. Um, again, just giving it that kind of 3D look, hopefully, anyway. And colour in his eye. So there we go. That's that's its kind of basic, the basic pattern of Hubbington. I've got rid of the red um, outline, um, which again, if you're using paste paper, maybe you do the outline in the tracing paper, or if you're doing graph paper, you can sort of rub that bit out. Um, because we don't want to see those lines. I'm just finishing off, tidying it up. I'm going to have one that's like a sort of slightly lighter block between his eyes, just again to give it that kind of 3D look. And I'm taking away those lines, which I can do on my computer, very clever. Um, so if you're using tracing paper and graph paper underneath, get rid of that, see how, see how it looks. And so there we go. We've taken a character, one that I've drawn before, turned it into a really simple blocky drawing you only using uh four or five colors and there we go that's how we take a character and turn it into a pixelated video games character i hope you enjoyed that um i shall see you again very soon on doodle do it but until then um happy doodling see you soon <laughs>